Hey guys, thanks for being here as we once again pour from coast to coast. So it was my turn to lay down the challenge and I decided to pick a palette that everyone had to use. Um, actually, it was picked out by Kathleen Osmore as I had forgotten to do it before I went to work and I really needed to get it to Chris and Teneva. So Kathleen helped me out and uh, picked a palette for us. So thank you, Kathleen, for helping. If you look at the card really close on the uh, left-hand side, you can see I put dots there. Uh, those were the paints that I mixed and I wanted to make sure they were really close. Uh, and I think I did pretty good. Not too bad at all. I, I did some custom colors. Um, so we're gonna go through and I'm gonna try to go through all the colors really fast here. So here we have Master's Touch Persian Red, Liquitex Vivid Red Orange, Soho Burnt Sienna, and Liquitex Titanium White. This one is Liquitex Vivid Red Orange, Liquitex Medium Magenta, Soho Burnt Sienna, Liquitex Titanium White. The Dark Orange is the Liquitex Vivid Red Orange, Soho Burnt Sienna, and Soho Crimson. This is DecoArt 24 Karat Gold. This is Amsterdam Olive Green Deep, Soho Prussian Blue, and Liquitex Titanium White. This is also Amsterdam Olive Green Deep with a little bit of Amsterdam Permanent Blue Violet. This is Creative Inspirations Van Dyke Brown. And then we have Creative Inspirations Titanium White. All of these colors will be in the description in case you didn't get any of that. I'm sorry, I had to go through it really fast. I was layering each cup individually so that they weren't sitting. Um, I don't like layered cups to sit for very long because the heavier paints tend to sink. Uh, so when I was loading another cup, I would turn the camera off and I knew I was gonna forget to turn it on at some point and I did. So that's why uh, the, sh the scene went immediately to um, four pours instead of two.
So this was just four little mini straight pours. And, you know, I was really surprised at the reaction of the white. Um, this is just Creative Inspiration's Titanium White. You can get it at Jerry's Artorama. It comes in a big two liter jug. Uh, that's what I use. And um, it, it acted like it was um, a satin enamel because it really clouded up and I've never seen it do that before. So I'm gonna have to experiment with that um, and see what's going on. You, I was, you know, I completely forgot why I kind of stopped using DecoArt 24K and I was reminded of that fact in this piece. It really attaches itself to everything around it. Um, and it took over the greens, it took over the, uh, Van Dyke Brown. It gave it, it didn't make it ugly by any means, but it just kind of darkens everything a little bit more than it needs to be. So I don't hate this piece by any means. Um, it's not one of my absolute favorites. I do love uh, the fact that it's very earthy and organic. You guys know I love my earth tones. Um, but just, you know, some of the colors with the oranges and the greens were lost because of the gold. So that was a learning, another learning experience, uh, re-emphasized for me on this piece. Hey, if you missed our live premieres, please go back and make sure you watch everyone in this collaboration, we have Chris Jezik, Fluid Art and More, and Teneva Baker, Art and Design. They are both very good friends and amazing artists. You will learn a lot from them. And I believe our beloved Garrick Brown is going to be back with us in two weeks. He has been on the road working, 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 and we are so glad he is back and able to paint, paint, paint. So be sure and join us um, in two weeks. Chris Jezik is up next after a word from our sponsors. Hi guys. Well, it's official. The Fluid Art Experience is coming back in 2024, slated for May 23rd through the 25th. That's a Thursday through a Saturday. And guess where we're going to be? Not Nashville, Tennessee. We're going back to Asheville, North Carolina. It was good enough for Kathleen's wedding. It is definitely good enough for the Fluid Art Experience. I am so excited to announce that I have been invited back to the Fluid Art Experience as a guest artist. I will be teaching a full day, two classes. The first class, we will be doing an open cup technique with a little bit different type of pouring medium than you're probably used to. And we'll be using Amsterdam Pearl Paints. The second class, I will be teaching the Angel Wing Pour which I have heard does not bode well with people who do not have patience as a virtue, but that's okay. I plan on sharing lots of tips and tricks. And by the time we're done with this class, I am totally confident that you're gonna be able to pull this pour off. We will have a meet and greet the first night. There will be a gala dinner with an auction and a raffle. There will be some amazing prizes to be won because our sponsors always rock. So be sure to start planning now. Book your airfare, be sure and book your hotel so that you can lock in that discounted rate. Book your classes early before they start selling out. You wanna make sure you get the instructors and the classes that you really wanna take. Some of your favorite artists are going to be there. Sarah Taylor, Jessica Winterstrom, Canella Sirocco, Tara Lombardi, Kathleen Osmore, the Massey Boys, Jeremy and Lee, and Nate Bright is also going to be a guest artist at the Fluid Art Experience. We have a great lineup for you. We've got so many fun things planned. 
lots of learning, lots of hanging out with friends, laughter, good food, better company. We can't wait to see you guys in Asheville in May.